All right, this wholesome podcast, wholesome B Mitch, aka Coach B. We got Wavy Trey in the building. We got Antea back again for another episode. She said she was too drunk last time. <laughs> so here we are again. But before we start, check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, IG, shit like that. Like, comment, share, let us know what's up, all that. Yes, absolutely. So today I want to know with the holiday seasons right around the corner, you know, Christmas coming up. I want to know when you are dating somebody or talking to somebody, Who's expected to buy a gift first? Like, who's who's going to be the person to crack the barrier to buy somebody a gift? You know, especially with Christmas coming up. <laughs> I, I like to think I wouldn't fold, but yeah. <laughs> I would fold first. It's going to be you first? <laughs> you yeah, look like a folder. <laughs> so, so what, I mean, what type of gifts is you buying out the gate? Like, since you're going first and you're going to fold? It depends. I'm like the conversations that were had and the interests, the hobbies. It depends on the person. I don't know. What's the shortest amount of time you talk to someone and you just thought you clicked so well and then like the gift you got during that short amount of time? I'd be falling so hard, so quick. And now I'm so curious. <laughs> um. I don't know. Mm-mm. What about you, Trey? So who's buying this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what about you? No, uh, gift wise, shit. Probably them. They gonna fold before me. I mean, that doesn't have to be considered folding. Yeah, I know folding. she said folding. Yeah, yeah, no, folding. Folding. It, 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 it ain't really yeah, a fold. That, no, that, made it, that, made, that made it sound so horrible. It, it does sound yeah, horrible. Like, it ain't so folding fold. and shit. It, it depends. Um, if we talk for a long period of time, I don't mind buying someone something, but I mean, if I ain't really together with you, which most times out of 10, I'm not, they maybe buy something, buy something, or maybe it might even be a conversation, like shit. Like if I see them maybe hinting at something like, or ask me shit around the holidays or whatever, then I'm like, damn, she might buy me some shit. Then maybe I might, Considerate or shit Hopefully they give me my shit first Before the holidays Be like oh your shit gonna come right It's on it's way Your shit gonna come a few days after Christmas <laughs> You know you know Holidays it'd be a lot it. It'd be a lot of shit So you know it'd be hella delays and shit So I kinda <laughs> do it like that Yeah nah I, I hear you I'm not really I'm not really a gifter Or a gifty Don't buy me no gifts Cause Let's just keep it Chill and I don't wanna get no gifts You don't give me no gifts Let's celebrate a different way Let's do so. Let's just do something festive. Don't buy no gifts, cause once, once you buy me a gift, I'm feel obligated. Like, oh dang, I ain't get you nothing. I gotta go find some. And something. then you thinking about it. Yeah, and then <laughs> like, it's like, and then it's too late. Now it's February. Now it's basically a Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> yeah, it's all misconstrued. Like, it's, it's too much like going the on. The thought counts, like. But if, if it's two months late, is it still? I don't know. The thought counts. Uh, I think so. I I can't remember. Man, it been so long. I think I bar- <laughs> bought someone some shit. They came probably at the end of January. That ha- that's a real thing. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Sure you said the gift was. Uh, I don't like. You just sh- blamed it on shipping. On shipping. I can't remember so long ago. <laughs> I just I just remember it hap- happened. They were like, I don't think it was. I don't think it hits as hard when it's that yeah. late. What if y'all weren't together <laughs> during that time? You know, it, at oh, the gift right. came after. That's upsetting. That's I know happened. people go through that. That's happened yeah. to me for sure. To you, absolutely. Ooh. Because I got the Sorry. gift late. They got me some. <laughs> I'm late exciting. already. By the time the gift get here, we don't even talk no more. You what you give do it with a, the gift? You got to give it to somebody else. Uh-huh. You got to wait for you got to wait for them to get you something and give it to somebody else, which sounds crazy, but. Just gotta hold on to it till next week. I was talking about a family member, which Same. I always do. If fuck, I know a family member needs this. <laughs> nah, that shit might be sitting in my room to the next go round. Well, don't give me no second hand me down. You Even how, if how you never going, touch how you gonna, them, how you gonna know? You were thinking about that person. Then, you're not gonna then know. Then if you see me using that or in whatever you get, you are gonna be thinking about the last person. No, this is what I'm be thinking. I need something new, brand new, no. out the box. <laughs> no, this no still gonna be in the box. It's still gonna be in the box. But look, this, no this, brand new, first thought. It's gonna be no. a little dusty. It's gonna, <laughs> be, gonna be dusty. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna clean the dust off. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is the one right here. <laughs> Got many gifts in the closet. This this gonna be this my train of thought. I like I know my first one was gonna like it, but now she liking it. So like, damn, I'm just a good that's, gift giver. That just like this a, this is a universal one. gift for all women. Like I'm good at gifts. That'd be my train of the thought. The first one, that's horrible. I you was, need you need help. <laughs> how did y'all feel how would y'all feel about like somebody you used to talk to buying you a gift like y'all don't talk no more but they you know they pop up on Christmas and say you know I got you some how would I would think about it's that? a lie you would think what it's a lie you just got this what and if they, then they see like, you happy now you want to give me my gift you could just still gave me the gift during that time and just say I have done that. That you know, even though we're not, you know, messing around right now, but here, cause that's where adults. No, I did that before. Don't wait until you see me happy. Be like, oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, I did that before. Like, I like, I like, I you know, you know, you just be scrolling and shit. Like, damn, I know she's gonna like this. Uh, I'm gonna send that shit. Like that shit hit. A, she still ain't fuck with me though. But I need it thin there now. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, I don't think nothing wrong with it. You think like we if we had some good time together, like shit. And feel me, I thought about seeing this shit. And feel me, it, it is what it is. Here you go, type shit. Like I'm not against it since I did it before. Mm, yeah, <laughs> that's nah, horrible. <laughs> the next person would think about that. I don't think it's so. I think that's actually Every- the best time to get somebody something because then it's like. They don't gotta like you don't gotta worry about okay like no obligation. It's no obligation. Yeah, it's just like I'm just getting this out of the kindness of my heart. Cause literally, we, yeah, literally. Cause we still had good time together. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna forget that. And like I know That's you were like you so, so. But I know I ain't yeah, see this yeah, specific gift. Like I ain't see the specific gift, but I know this is your type of gift. So like we ain't gotta get back together, but we had some good times. I know you would like this, so here you go, just so you could have some shit like this. I for sure did that. So you wouldn't be happy if somebody just did that for you, just like here you can just have it. Like, and you know that's your type of gift. You know, you, you this is specifically for you. Like you really like this shit. You he like he been with you, so he he know this is your thing. Yeah, I'll take it. But that's you're gonna like, feel kind of emotional about it. Yeah, I feel some way still, but. <laughs> you get it. <a>, <laughs> <laughs> what what, so, what you thinking? Did had that ever happened to you? No. Oh, okay. No, I, no, I really never really got many gifts. Like I had like got like drugs. I, I mean, I, I guess I did. No jewelry. Oh, I, I, it sounded like drugs. I, I had some weed. Everybody gets weed. You know, I'm a girl. But yeah, so I, I smoke free sometimes. But that's just that's a plant. But yeah, <laughs> I got other gifts before or whatever. But nothing like I like so long ago. So long ago, I was like. 18. Damn, nigga. And I ain't been in a relationship since I was like 24, 25. So like two, three years, three years. I mean, you can, you can still exchange gifts without being in a relationship, though. Yeah, for sure. I ain't sure. getting you shit. So if you're not in a relationship... We can get food. I'll buy you food all day. Okay. I have gotten someone a gift... I did it too. Like so many, like we ain't really, we don't we don't hung out a couple times mm-hmm. and shit. I don't got like just cause we cool and shit. I don't got you some shit cause oh this is some you shit too. Like we wasn't that type. Oh, we kicked it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't did that shit too. Oh little shit. Yeah. Like, like random days, not just on like a birthday or whatever. No, just like we we our anniversary. Hell yeah. No, yeah. We like cool. I I, I don't do this all day, but like we cool and I like damn this kind of dope and shit. And like you probably like it and shit. I don't did that shit. I'm mm-hmm. just on some cool shit. Yeah. Like we ain't even like ain't like we tight. Ain't like we just fuck so many times and shit. All right, feel me. But like we cool, we really it's friends. It's like you and walk shit. in in the store and you see someone like, oh, so and so would like this. Let me grab this. Yeah, my more online and shit. But yeah, same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I'm not that thoughtful. I've never I done did seen it. something and then we're like, oh, this person would like this. Really? And God, I've never done I'm it. I'm always life. like the thought counts. No, Sometimes I, I won't get it, but. The thought counts. No, I, no, yeah. <laughs> no, I would do some I would shit tell like you that. I thought about getting you this because I thought about you, but I didn't get I've it. I've never, I've never done that in my life. But oh. I'm not maybe I'm not that thoughtful, but mm-hmm. I'm very thoughtful. <laughs> but on the flip side, is it ever, um, is there ever a period of time y'all feel like somebody is too thoughtful to you, where it's like they're showering you with gifts 
It's like every time they go somewhere, they thought of you all of a sudden. Like, God damn, stop thinking of me. That's how I view it. I don't know. The most I get from that is when they call me every time about something. You feel me? Oh, yeah. The yeah. call. That showering me with call that every little moment. Oh, wow. Well, I'm here. Woo, woo, woo type shit. Like, I wish you were here with me. Shit like yeah. that. Like, oh, my God, you would love it. Like, <laughs> like yeah. that's we, the we. one. <laughs> how do you, I'm saying, like, you do you like that? Or? No, I don't. Oh. Call wise. No, don't call me on every little center. Didn't think it would be such a sentimental as moment when we ain't even tight <laughs> like that. Like, I don't want all these calls and shit. And then I got to pick up. Then I got to listen to you talk <laughs> for 30. It's to pick up. It, it, it is. is. It's draining. I like, keep my phone on Do Not Disturb. I'm not picking Leave up. Leave me alone. Exactly. I'm not picking. I ain't going to put on Do Not Disturb. I even through a text and shit. Like, I hate that shit texting. Too. I hate texting too. I like Because I'm going to read your text wrong. I'm going to be like, this motherfucker just said this whole time you didn't mean it that way. But I took it that way. I like I like your text. I need face to face. Yes, yeah, I for, prefer that. For me, it's I don't even respond to text no more. Everything is just tiring to me. I don't know why. It's so no, like, draining. It's I'm not trying to read through shit you're talking. I don't wanna read about. your text. Don't yeah. call me. Don't message me on no social media. Matter of fact, just leave me alone mm-hmm. until you're ready you ready to hang me? out. Yeah, and be like, let's meet up here. My at biggest this time pet peeve period. when you talk to women and shit and you just be like let's just hang out oh you don't want to talk to get bitch i could talk to you and hang out in person in and get person. to know you like this over the phone is like what the fuck is that like how I am i going voices on the phone i'm literally not going to talk to you over the phone just 100 yeah. percent. I, I hate that shit just 100 percent. like if, if you call me i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna <laughs> let it ring i'm like what you calling me for i'm the meanest in a text <laughs> and it is kind of mean to they do be that like, why do you give me your number if you're not going to respond? I told you I'm not going to respond. But that's what's funny you said, because I don't like people like, give, give people my number no more. I give it to that's them to, so like, leave me alone. Shut up. But I'm letting you know I might not respond to you. But why is it for you, though? Why do you do that? Because niggas be right here. <laughs> so I be like, here, take that. Yeah, you gotta give them fake you numbers. Give, like, you like, know, I don't give like, my numbers. At least you got the number. I can decide if I want to continue the conversation or not. Or block that nigga. Type shit. So. So we talking about holidays and shit. This is Fuck the holiday. It's a no, it's the holiday day. season. Yeah, yeah. Holiday God damn, season. holiday yeah. season. <laughs> but like, so this is my biggest issue. I got so much flack for like around Mother's Day mm-hmm. for not telling because people I talk to generally have kids and shit, but they mad because I ain't tell them Happy Mother's Day. Um, Do you tell women? So many mothers. It's a all these women be having kids. So like, am I going to tell all y'all Happy Mother's Day? It ain't my kid. But uh, so like, do you? <laughs> yeah, it's <Yo>, nuts. <laughs> so, definitely tell mothers happy Mother's Day. Uh, like, but there's so even, many. You got to copy, copy, paste, copy. Well, paste. I'm not talking, and I don't communicate with I that many people. I'm saying, but if you're talking to someone who's, <laughs> if you're talking, even y'all might not be tight. Are you yeah. gonna t- you tell them happy Mother's Day? If, I, if I'm communicating with you, yes, I'm going to tell you happy uh, Mother's okay, Day. Okay, so I'm trash. I tell yes. my mom. <laughs> Cause they really be getting a feel. You didn't tell me if happy this, Mother's this Day. This is a person that you talk to frequently. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh yeah, if you talk to them, absolutely. Like- and you've been around their kid. Hell yeah. Not even, not if you've been around, not, if you have or have not been around the kid, you still should wish them because you talk to them every day. That's but a big like, part of their life. You know how many people like, I, I can think about you. that I talk to every day that is a parent? And what? Do you it's, res- like, it's like, do I see you with your kid? Do I already know you're a good mother? Like, why am I wishing you happy if I don't know? It don't know. matter if you're good or not. It's just yeah, like, it's- damn, there's so, like, you gotta understand. So now I realize I'm a trash individual. As, as long as your kids say Happy Mother's Day and Happy Father's Day, you should feel. <laughs> One girl was so mad. Like I, I talked to her probably a week Whoa. later and shit. No she, week. No, yeah, it ain't had shit to do with me. She just wanted my dog. She was so sad because her child didn't wish her Happy Mother's Day. Uh-huh. I like That's I, so kids upsetting. is different. Kids, yeah, kids be absent minded. Yeah, yeah, but she was so sad. She like hurt. Then why and shit. can't I be absent minded? Exactly. Like, you're a dog. And so I get my own life. It's, no kids. Yeah, but it is somebody that you that you're no, frequently talking to, and you respect them. That's part of their oh, life. I, yeah. Out of respect, you wish them a happy Mother's Day or whatever. Just like if it's you know out of respect, you wish somebody happy birthday or something like that. You don't have to. It's their birthday. It ain't it's gonna do that you. <laughs> huh? It's this is it's to me it's out of respect thing. I mean, if, even with women that I know or people I know just in general, if I talk to you on a, on a kind of ongoing basis, even Veterans Day. You was even you enlisted totally in the army for two months. I'm gonna still wish you have Veterans Day because I know I ain't do that. You know what I'm saying? So out of respect, I'm just going to just wish people 
well being. So hey, happy Mother's Day, whatever. Life is hard, and sometimes you be forgetting about things. So you, so you don't wish dudes happy Father's Day. A couple. So what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, he said he don't. That's him. Yeah. yeah. I didn't say nothing. This never you talking about? Yeah, you run. You, yeah, you co-sign co-sign it. It. <laughs> co-sign it. Like a and you, you switching everybody happy every day. Yeah. Happy Easter and all. Mm. I'm about to say, I almost felt better by myself, but you done turned it down. Yep. But nah, like no, nah, I just. <laughs> It, it, people definitely heard that I did not wish them a happy Mother's Day. Aww. So this is my public apology. Forgive me. That's I got upsetting. you. I got I got you next Mother's Day <laughs> with a happy Mother's Day. I mean, how do y'all feel about when people um, don't wish you a happy birthday? Like if you talk to them frequently. Ah, uh, you got me fucked up. <laughs> No. They they forgot. What if they forgot? As you just see it. Well, I mean, I did have a few, but in my in their case, I understand that they like have you know husbands. And kids, and you know, so I'm like, oh, that's cool. At least you're saying it now. But everybody else that like be around me, I'm like, okay. I don't. I'm a. I'm a man. I don't give a fuck. Like I don't. Why is it, what so does gender have to do? Be, with oh that? yeah, it's so a birthday. Literally, yeah. so you don't be just sitting, waking up or thinking like, oh, I wonder if this person is gonna say happy birthday either, to me, either. and then they don't, and you don't have a feeling about it. Either they do it, no. I'm not wishing like any one person. See, that's I don't the, give. I genuinely don't give. I'm a man. I need to be hard. No, it ain't me being hard. It's just like I don't give a fuck. It ain't that deep. No so what if? So what it if? Ain't that deep to me. This is this. So what if it's a girl that you're talking to? She stays the night with you the day before your birthday. <laughs> she wakes up with you on your birthday. And you she just wake, wake up, up like, ah, what you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about to go. So, uh, I'm going to go. 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 i Okay, that's slightly it's different. Like, but she I'm got t- a surprise for me later. I know no, I'm not one of them niggas. I'm like, I'm just like, okay, she forgot. It is what it is. Uh-huh. Then you fuck her friend. Uh-huh. Damn, just because she forgot your birthday? <laughs> I'm talking shit. Because she don't know your birthday? I'm talking shit. That's harsh. All the secrets. I definitely got someone. I, I'm type of nigga who probably get a birthday wrong on accident. Like mm. you know, you say happy birthday like two days after or two days before. Yeah, that happens on accident. Yeah, yeah, time. I do that, but I don't intentionally like forget motherfuckers' birthday. And shit. Life be hidden. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I forget. I gotta put it in my phone. Yeah. Sometimes I forget what day it is. As a kid, I was good at knowing everybody' birthday, but the older you get, that shit tough. Them days be coming. Yeah, a kid. As a kid, nigga ain't had shit to do but remember people' birthday. Niggas ain't had no life. Ain't <laughs> <And> no responsibilities. <laughs> exactly. Now they got responsibilities. That shit hard to do. How you react to some like somebody you talk to? They they forget your birthday <clears throat> from a woman's perspective. I just take it as maybe we didn't have that conversation, so you don't know my birthday, or we don't got each other on social media. It all depends, or you just all really on your got me media. fucked up. <laughs> like it really depends on who he's coming from. I, there's a few that didn't say happy birthday, but they say happy belated birthday. But I was like, you know what? We never talked about birthdays. Because when is your birthday? Mm. I, I think women be it's, put it, when they talk to a nigga, they put in their phone. This day, I told the nigga no, my birthday, don't. so you better remember. I feel like I, they do too. Look, I just remember conversations. I don't, I can't speak for everybody else. But yeah, not, I don't think people put things in calendars. I do. I, I put it in calendars, and I'm going to still forget but I might remember mm-hmm. roughly the time frame, like you said, two days before. I might remember like two weeks before. Yeah. So that's when you ask the question, like, oh, what you gonna do for your birthday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's on the weekend, ain't it? You just gotta say it random. It's the weekend, you yeah. know? No, facts. I don't even you? think about that. But then I forget to ask them. No, that's the only way. Because I'm, I'm going to forget. For Man, sure. I remember I had a gym membership with a girl. Put her birthday is wrong, and we've been talking for two years. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't put nothing in. <laughs> she like, no, my shit wasn't working. You have a birthday wrong. I'm like, yeah, I and her birthday like a month after mine too would make it worse. Oh, that's upsetting. I would not have put nothing in. I'd say here, put I'd have been out. like NA. Yeah. I was a day off though. I was only a day Either off. Either or, still, it's like, how do you know? How do you double check? Or I just call. Or Ted's. I, I thought um, I was When's your birthday? Or I look in the search bar. You say birthdays. Look on Facebook. No. Shine your iPhone. Your messages. You oh. look in searches. You say birthdays. 
all anything you ever had a conversation about birthdays or whatever word you put in will show up mm. and it will have them text messages there and you can click like oh yeah on this day we had this conversation yeah be you know all the that. tricks facts yeah i remember that one because i'll be forgetting try to get me caught up i remember just uh-huh. put the right the most important <coughs> word in and it'll show up yes that's, that's so smart Do even you if you delete them oh even if you delete it mm-hmm. interesting you know all the tips, tricks, and you be having hell in You be going through niggas' you? phones, huh? No, no I would never <laughs> go through a phone. Going through a phone would get you hurt. I'd rather not. I'd rather keep yeah, the gut, yeah. the suspense, and then when the truth comes out, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I knew I was. Right. I had a feeling. You had me fucked up. <laughs> My gut was right. So. Women guts be so wrong. They be women, so wrong. Women got, women got. You be wrong. Women got. I don't. Women got horrible intuition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's true. That's in, y'all ain't about to gank up. We don't because some some females do, but I can tell you, mine has always been right. Women always feel like mm-hmm. their Somebody intuition is wrong. right, and it'd be like just random stuff. It'd just be like yeah. And then later <clears> on, <throat> it shows to be right. Nigga, niggas, niggas ain't text her all day because nigga worked the double the day before. Some, I know that nigga cheating. I know he cheating. Some, some is dealing with drama. And insecurities, but some motherfuckers be right. It be more majority be wrong than the few that's right. The ones that mess with you. Yeah. The ones you know. But I'm on the right side. When's the last time your intuition was right? Literally like three days ago. A bitch no. What made it correct? What's the scenario? Uh, what made it correct is I had a sick feeling about something. And then I just let it keep happening, even though I felt it. And then it, that person, whatever, got around me, because I ain't going to say details, got around me. And I was like, I really don't fuck with you, but let me watch you. And they were moving weird. And then my gut feeling was right. I'm like, yeah, something's off. Because every time I heard their name, I got this feeling of like, stay the fuck away, Taya. And I should have. <laughs> That's intuition. Right. Yes, that's the gut feeling. Go with your first intuition, your first gut. Like, I-, I can say the details. Like, I just felt like people are very, like, pick me, like, give me attention. And, like, sometimes you don't want that around your energy. So, like, I felt it every time I heard that person's name, and I just let it ride. And then they got around me, and I'm, like, watching them. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm having a bad time. I should never let this happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's how that works. That is how that works. I feel like this is a, the person with somebody that <clears throat> always acts like that. They're always a pick me, whatever. Oh, I hate pick and me. they was like, let's hang out. And you was like, oh, I really don't like hanging with them. Mm-hmm. And they did what they always do. Yeah, and it showed but, you. But it had nothing to do with your intuition. This is what they just always do. Yeah, but something told you, like, oh, do I really want to be around that right now? Oh, okay. But then you decided, like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to go with my second thought and be like, Nah, I'm tripping. I'm just gonna go with it. No, I should have went with my first intuition. Girls, intuition you know what? You might be right. Women do have that because men have men have that too in a different type of way. Because I'd be like, I know, I know. What, like for me, it'd be like this this girl right here. She kind of rat, and it'd be <laughs> something in my stomach. Be like, oh yeah. yeah, she is. Yeah, or it'd be like this one. Like, nah, she's 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 like um a very subtle. Not rat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rat intuition. Yeah, it'd be like it's a feeling. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of times it'd be right. Yeah, fat. Like, but yeah, most yeah. Of we time see. You go with the second one, though. No, no. And they'd be like, let you me try. Yeah, on. yeah. Like, <laughs> she might be rat, but I'm gonna get my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah niggas love a rat. Yeah, rat is- yeah. Rats are fun. <laughs> yeah, niggas, niggas take the chance. Like, damn, I know she a rap, but I'm gonna try it anyway because they are fun. But let me then, see if the if the rumors is true. Yeah, let me see if I got yeah, this friend. Yeah, it's no, like, no, you go hang and, out with the friend. Yeah, like, and it, it, it we and don't niggas we, be falling in love with it, that same rap. Some niggas do. I won't. <laughs> but like, like, um. It ain't we, niggas ain't worried about the rumor. Niggas might not even hear rumor, but niggas see a way a woman moving know what type of woman she is. Is that intuition? We it ain't going on hearsay. It going on vigil. She, she, she moved kind of. But fuck it. Mm-hmm. 
I think everybody moves a certain way in certain situations. Yeah, I move like a child of God. <laughs> in all situations. <laughs> How do y'all plan on moving, like, since we getting back to holidays, New Year's Eve? Like, how do y'all... I'll take a trip so quick. Mm. With a chick or what? Like, yeah, solo? With a, no, with a chick. We probably didn't even hang out before. Let, let's take a trip. <laughs> I don't have to offer that. Let, I still got to see if I got one lined up, matter of fact. I'm going to be quick to... No. no. What was your question? How do you, like, so how, how do you move New Year's Eve... <clears throat> Um, you try to get like you know people like do the New Year's Eve kiss thing, New Year's Eve trip. Um, you like to just go hang with your friends. What do you what is, what is your New Year's Eve vibe that you like would be a preference for you? I hang out with my friends. If I'm Obviously, in Minnesota, I'm hanging out with friends. And everybody wants a New Year's like kiss, like that ain't the agenda. I'm I'm cool sitting at home too, but I'd rather be you know kicking it with my people. And maybe somebody I fuck with. If not, yeah, if, check if, it up. Maybe next year. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm in the city of Minnesota, I'm kicking it with friends and shit. But if I know it's someone I fuck with or someone I fuck with in another city or state, woo, we texting and shit. We know we cool shit. Shit, let's go take a trip. Woo, 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 type shit. So y'all wouldn't, y'all don't um ever like the idea of like dinner on New Year's Eve. You know how people do like a nice dinner. Nah, restaurants be too Then busy. go out. And pop. Mm-hmm. And restaurants be moving too fast. Be with one person until then, like in another city <laughs> or country. Yes, I'll do that. He's on the traveling. He's gone. <laughs> if I'm in Minnesota, no, I'm not doing Minnesota that dinner shit. At home watching a movie. Maybe not even that. Did you say you wouldn't go to dinner if you're in Minnesota? No. <laughs> That's a wild. <laughs> yeah. No, like we. I'm already. I don't see you this whole fucking time in minute. Like I need new scenery, new vibe, this shit, new team. Well, like, then you gotta apply that and say like you're coming on the street with me. I'm but more like, likely would choose someone in another city and state than in Minnesota. Oh, so yeah. you'll go like even by yourself and mm-hmm. just like, oh, I'm gonna go venture out by myself. And I would. No, yeah, I would. Matter of fact, I'm tripping because I we I had took a New Year's trip with people from here. I'm tripping. Mm-hmm. But that I prefer. The truth always comes out. <laughs> you got a gut feeling, huh? <laughs> I forgot. Don't tell me the motherfucker be lying. I forgot. I forgot about that trip. That don't count. But uh, no, oh, that's upsetting. So Hopefully they don't. I don't give a fuck if they oh. remember. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck. But uh, <laughs> fucking, I prefer. I guess that was the better word. A wild one. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer a trip with a girl in a different city. Shit, like ooh, we just talk. Shit, let's go link up over here and shit. Like you feel me? I would prefer that. I've done all of the above. I don't, <laughs> I don't think so. New Year's Eve is a great time to just do all of that. Like, like one thing that I do want to do that I haven't done yet is I want to have dinner. Here, then travel somewhere else and spend a New Year's Eve somewhere else with somebody else. That's ideal. That's what I. That's one thing I have not done. Um, Like so, make it by like like New Year's Eve during the day. Then by midnight, you hang with someone else. Yes, I mean you got to remember there's time zones too. So facts. So you have dinner. You have you can have dinner here. Just have you know early dinner, six p.m. something like that. Yeah, you fly to the West Coast. You You still love that person. No, it ain't nah, about love. It's about the experience. Yeah, it is about the experience. Yeah, that's all yeah, that so matters. It's not, it's not even about love. It's like, about being, but so it's like it's two different people. First of all, so. <laughs> no. Yeah, so it's dinner with somebody here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and then you, you go with the same. No, person. of course not. No, so you have dinner here you with somebody, and you fly to Cali or wherever, and we're have, three hours behind, and you enjoy mm-hmm. the evening with this person. Oh, that's oh. Yeah, that's. That's, that would be an adventure. Yeah, like that's a good story. That's like, man, crazy. this that one New Year's in twenty twenty three, I hang with this girl, and then I caught up the plane and landed by nine o'clock, and then me and her was doing some other shit. That's but, not a good plan. It sounds like a phenomenal story yeah. to tell eventually. It's about this. It's about the story, and then like you was able to spend New Year with two great, amazing women in different time zones. I mean, because I've had some crazy New Year's Eves. I have some fun, some wild ones, some different ones. I don't ones. know. I, I don't got that much effort in me. Life is... I, you're a woman and different. Yes, if I'm, like, focusing... I, it's even hard for me to meet up with people, like... That don't mean that you focus on both of them, no, though. No. It's, it's just for the experience. It's yeah. the time that you're like, oh, this 
It like I'm, I'm, I'm doing it with the flow. I ain't mm. doing all that. that as a man, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a man, that's, we, yeah. That's, shit, like he talking about shit. That's man creating flow. Like we can fucking FaceTime at this time. Oh, like, I don't know. In a different state, I don't know, but I ain't about to get on the plane after I just spent money with this now person. Lie, I'm not with this person. Now I'm coming with you. What if I have a good time with this person and then I fly and then I'm miserable with you when I could have been. Oh no! I feel like no. I mean you gotta pick or choose. Nah, cause it's, no, you do that you shit. You be one in there. Mm-mm. That's why Mm-mm. karma. That's it not karma. karma. You, you, that's a great time. No, time cause that's how you get karma. Cause you doing somebody like I no, said. That, you ain't, go that ain't doing nobody and dirty. Not be happy. It's possible. Yeah. it's possible you might fly out and not be happy. Then that's possible. And then the whole time you just left something that you just were having good ass laughter. That's possible. With that does happen. But yeah, if, but like, what if what? you're happy with both of them? That's a, that makes it even better. But it is you do run the risk of you could get there no, and some stuff. You're not go happy. Wrong. You got to be happy with one. Let's you go. have to be happy with one. That sounds crazy. It took many people in the world to be happy with just one person. Whoa. Especially, I mean, this how this that how, is true though. And for, to me. <laughs> This is very true. Have you ever taken a trip with any, with somebody before? <laughs> no, but I've met up with people. Okay, yes. so when that happens, sometimes. But I wasn't messing with somebody else. Then I was just talking to other people. Sure, whatever. Tomato, you have, tomato. You, yeah, but but what I was gonna say is though, when you go on a trip with somebody, um, like just this one person, it doesn't always go as planned. Matter of fact, most times y'all gonna get on each other's nerves. Yeah. You're gonna go. You want to hang with other people because this person is getting on your nerves. So the solution is, you don't bring that person on the trip. Facts. You go hang with somebody else that you don't see all the time. That's elsewhere. That you and know you can tolerate. To yeah. Yeah. True. But I mean, the trips I took, I typically ended up extending my stay. Like it'd be worth it. Like, but them be the times. Like I said, I'm not leaving someone at home. Mm. Or come back at home. It's just like little conversation here and there, nothing serious. And this isn't serious either. But you know, like, I think the I best. I just feel like if I'm risking my life to fly to you, like the best trips is someone in another <laughs> state you don't hang with all the time. Like, yeah, like cause you, yeah, you hang with someone in the same state as you going on a trip with them. Like, it's going to be some issues with someone in another state who you cool with. Like. Y'all don't hang, so this everything is new, issues. fresh, and exciting. It's all exciting. Yeah, and y'all still learning each other. It's all about okay. And then it's excitement. So you're in their hood, yeah. around their people. No, we no, we're, no, we're in two do. different hoods. We might be in uh, me Dominican Republic or some fuck shit. Oh, you're traveling like like okay, you're traveling, yeah. You no, know, even in a city. No, no, I'm about to say city. even in a city though. Like, um, feel me? If I'm going to a city. I'm just going to make, hopefully link up at least for a few hours or one day. I ain't, if it's like that, my trip is not solely around them. I mean, but I do want to go see, I want to go to their kick your spots and they hang out. I want to go to their, I want to go to all their stuff you too. You want to see what they, I want to see what they do too. Yeah. And that's how you know how people move. But like, yeah. what? I don't know. I mean, I did it before, but I wasn't leaving some, I don't know. I don't know. Depend what city I'm in, like it I'm depends trying to figure on the situation out and the person and the effort. Cause and I don't know, I'm gonna go with the flow type of person. So mm-hmm. sometimes right. you gotta go. To, New Year's Eve is a great time yeah, to go my, with the flow. That's my mic. Oh yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> New Year's Eve is a great time to go with the flow. Like so I don't, the, I don't, shit is expensive. It is expensive. <laughs> I'm gonna go, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Like news, but I just think it's just shit like that because it's like if we stay in here, we're gonna spend money anyway. So why not make it worth it of meeting up with a girl in another state and spending the same amount of money? Cause niggas spend if we just kicking it with a friends and shit, gonna spend money at a booth in your home state. Well, I could rather pay for a plane ticket and some other shit in a whole other state of country. Well, she was like, she's okay with staying home with somebody and just having you know watching BET. You know, the countdown. Yeah, I'll do that if I'm married. I, I, shit. I'm not doing I that do that by married. myself when I'm married. I don't Cause, know. Because, no, you remember when you got kids and shit, like... Hey. I just think <laughs> I'm kids. We all going out of town. I'm living this life forever. I think every day is just a normal day. So you don't celebrate nothing? 
I do celebrate. So then every day, yeah, like when I was a kid, I but probably I did mean, a countdown like, with my grandma or some shit. Like sometimes, that's shit. what kids can do. Yeah, uh, with the grandma. Want to go to some <laughs> <laughs> with a grandparent. Yeah, they go watch okay. BET, watch the countdown, okay. top one hundred from funny. twenty yeah. from twenty twenty seven. Yeah, the top one hundred. You funny that's as fuck. Different. You funny and as fuck. And then you got um, one of Sisson Park playing the top ten. That was that was lit, right? As a kid. Mm-hmm. Yep. Kids love doing that. But, like, I'm Facts. not respecting them. Drinking face really champagne good. and shit. The sparkling Ooh, sauce. Uh, the Welch sparkling yeah, drink. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was exciting like me when I was a kid. A girl thought she was lit. And now <laughs> look at me. Lit. <laughs> you started out young. You know what else is lit? <laughs> your your shots are not lit. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that, but you feel me? What is lit is the fact that black men don't cheat. We appreciate you, Taya, t- for coming through today. Once again. <laughs> you don't cheat. Thank you.